morning, our viewers, and uh, thank you so much for supporting Mother Mary Studio and all the productions that we've been able to give this this whole academic year 2022 and 2023. My name is Oboth Peter, and uh, I'm the host of this particular talk show, which is going to also entail an interview. Uh, briefly about myself, I'm an educator. I specialized in English language, in literature, psychology, and I am so passionate about developing young people's talents and helping them to discover themselves and be able to make an impact, a real impact to the future. I would like in a special way to appreciate all the people that have been there for us as Mother Mary family, that is uh, Mother Mary Studio. I would like to appreciate all the educators at Mother Mary International School. I appreciate in a special way all the stakeholders of, of our school and all the top management, all the administration, the coordinators, my fellow educators, all our amazing students. Thank you so much for your creativity and for always uh, maintaining the standards and being disciplined. And in a special way, I would like to thank our dear parents. Thank you so much for trusting us with your children. Thank you so much for seeing to it that you avail them with the right, right materials and uh, the right environment. And thank you for working close with us. Today, we have a very, very important guest. She is to us as Mother Mary family, one of the pillars that we hold on to. The guest that I'm talking about is someone that most of you have surely interacted with. She is, among so many other things, a great mother. She is an influencer. She's the cornerstone of so many things that we've done here as Mother Mary family. She is one of the pioneers of the Cambridge International Programs in Rwanda. She's strong, passionate, She's an influencer. She lives by standards, a code of conduct that is very hard to come by these days. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the honor to interview and have ideas shared with the principal of Mother Mary International School, Madam Diana. Madam Diana. Yes, please. Good morning. Good morning. Pleasure having me. Pleasure having you too. Yes. Thank you so much for accepting to have this interview. With Thank us. you so for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. As we we wind up this academic year, yes, 2022-2023, yes, we felt it worthy of spending some time with you. We would like to get to know your take on what has transpired within the year, yeah. what your future plans are as the principal of Mother Mary, and we want to hear something from you, you know? These, these opportunities where people reach out and share positive messages, yeah. messages of creativity, messages of hope, messages yeah. of confidence, it, it doesn't come by easily. Yeah. So again, really, thank you so much for accepting to have this interview with us. Pleasure. I've said so much about you, and uh, I don't think I can easily capture everything about you. So the intention of this interview is for you to shed more light about who you are as a principal and what makes you so different. One thing that still fascinates me about you up to now is the fact that you not only are the principal of Mother Mary, secondary section, but yes. you are the principal of Mother Mary Nursery, Mother Mary Primary, Mother Mary Secondary. I feel that is, I mean, I think that's the definition of being multi-purpose, multi-skilled and living up to the expectations of the 21st century. Thank you. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank you so much. So where do we start from? From everywhere. <laughs> Pleasure having me to Mother Mary community, the Mother Mary family. I'll begin with the country, Rwanda. Rwanda, thank you for having me in, in Rwanda. Thank you for the community loving me as Diana. Thank you for the shareholders trusting me 
for 12 years. That is something I, I, I really treasure every day. And uh, thank you for the staff that we work with, Mother Mary family, the teachers, educators, Mother Mary studio, which we are operating within today. It's one of the high tech new formations we have in Mother Mary and we are really proud. Mother Mary MBC, yeah. that operates the catering service. Yes. So I'm really honored to have that. And, uh, and of course, the education sector, generally, without, without forgetting my Cambridge schools in Rwanda, I'm really honored to, 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 to being here. So with me, um, you, you've asked so much, but briefly, I will explain about myself. I am a principal by definition, but by nature as a person, I'm a very passionate person. I'm passionate about education, I'm passionate about children, I'm passionate, I'm a transformational leader. Yes. I'm passionate about changing the community, especially the education sector. And also one thing people do not know that much, I love special needs children. I love yes. children who are struggling through school. Yeah. I, I like to be there, give a hand. I want to be an ear to those children. So I think that is what makes me special. How do I do it as managing all those sections for yes, these years? Yes. What's the secret? The, the secret is very simple. Passion. Passion, passion, passion. I love what I do. And every morning I wake up so happy to be able to come and serve the children and to serve the country, Rwanda, and uh, to make a contribution to the education sector, in particularly the Cambridge. Yes. As a founder, as a person who was a pillar into bringing Cambridge into Rwanda yeah. and pioneering all this, I'm proud to see how the schools have developed now. Rwanda's Cambridge schools are heading to almost 40 Cambridge schools in Rwanda. And originally, Mother Mary was the first primary Cambridge school in Rwanda. Wow, that's good. The first, and we founded it, I think that is 2013. Okay. But now we're doing good, and here we are. So pleasure having me. We shall go on and discuss more as we oh, work yes. together. Surely. Yes, uh, you, you did mention, uh, currently in yeah. Rwanda, we have over 40 Cambridge International Schools. Yes, please. And Mother Mary was one of the yeah. first schools yeah. to take on the Cambridge International Program. Yes, please. What I would like to know at this point is yeah. what makes Mother Mary a family? You know, there are so many schools out yeah. there yeah. with so many, you know, innovations. Yes, please. But one thing that I find striking about Mother Mary as an educator, I've, I've worked for different institutions as well, yes, but please. there is this, this feeling of togetherness, okay. of, of, of being a family. Yes, so. Share with our viewers what what is Mother Mary all about? What yes. makes Mother Mary a family? Very good. Mother Mary is a pure has a pure French nursery section and it has a Cambridge primary and secondary section. Yes. So we are purely French and Cambridge or English, yeah. as you said. Yeah. So Mother Mary has been in operation for mm. over 18 years and most people realize it when they're inside mother mary so what makes mother mary it's simple yeah three things what makes mother mary is the love children are loved yes they are. staff is loved the community is loved we cherish everybody individually that makes mother mary and then number two the discipline we have zero tolerance when it comes to discipline as, as far as other international schools are concerned, I know when a child is in international school, with that ESA, oh, he's in international, she's in international, she has to be treated like a queen. Yes? Yeah. A child has to be treated like a queen, which we appreciate everybody. A child, in an international child, his rights are respected. Yes. We do have policies to manage the children, but we never forget, as Mother Mary, these are children, international children, who are going to go out in the world. Yes. Number two, something we shouldn't forget, these are husbands, wives, mothers, fathers of tomorrow. To the future, so yes. discipline to Mother Mary is very key. So those are things that make it. And lastly, hard work. There is a, 
there is a saying in international schools there is no work there's no hard work there is no uh, they are having fun no they are having fun after hard work yeah so we work extremely hard like anybody else and i'm glad to let you know mother mary by 2020 we produced among the best cambridge student in mother mary oh that's good and that's uh, allow me to say the name kennedy nziza i salute you this is one of our best igcse students who produced five A's stars and is a scientist so that is a sign that mother mary is working so hard yeah. so with the best uh, performance in IGCSE 2022, yes. best checkpoint performance in 2022, Mother Mary is here to stay. And, and Mother Mary is here to perform. Yes. So that makes Mother Mary special. You have the love, you have the discipline, you have the hard work yeah. with everybody. And they have fun. Mother Mary do have fun. We have a variety of activities coming in every yeah. day. Yeah. And these are aiming to make a child confident, loved, and appreciated. So that's all Mother Mary. Not forgetting the values. We care about values extremely. Speaking of values, yes, I've also noticed something. Yes, please. Um, it's a trend these days for, yes. for learners to change schools. Yes, please. They, they easily change schools yes. for different reasons, of course. Yes. Uh, it could be the environment, it could be academic performance. But I've noticed we have some students yes our children in Mother Mary, mm -hmm. who begin mm -hmm. from nursery, yes, and they study in Mother Mary for that long time, up to stage 12. So true. How do you keep them in one environment? What, what are you, what, like, what core values yeah. are you, you know, like, Giving instilling them? I, I, I don't get that. What an interesting question. I did not expect that. <laughs> Statistically, I did not expect that, but I'm very glad it is happening. Mother Mary, by the way, on addition to that, Mother Mary has families. In Mother Mary, you'll find a family of three, four, five, six children, all brought to Mother Mary. Yes. That is something so fascinating. And they stay. And they stay. They stay for a long time. I have children who are graduating next week. Yes. 20 class, 2023. They've been here for 12 years. They've been here for eight years. They've been here for seven years. What is the, the, the reason as to why those children stay here for that long time? Number one, is that love extended to the children? Number two, every child in Mother Mary is very special. Yes. Every child in Mother Mary is special. And how, I, allow me to say this, personally as Diana, I know every child's name in the school. I know every child's character in the school. That is care. I know every child's strength. And I know children who are struggling and it's God-given. I just look at a child and I look into the child's eyes and I'm able to know this child is hurting and I'm able to know this child has had a bad night. Something is off. Something is off. Yeah. So, and uh, this is how I came up with welcoming them every morning. I've been doing this for seven years. Yes. So I, I'm there every morning and they get to receive them, to to to... To, to embrace them and have a connection with them. So this helps me to, to, to feel that every child is special. Knowing their name, knowing their character, knowing their challenges and weaknesses, that makes the children loved. So we have a connection. That is why you're seeing them staying for a long time. In this era, few schools or few people can give that attention to the children. So those are the things which are really making our children stay here for a long time. So it's that bond, that connection it's that you that build, connection. That they feel special. They and, feel special. And that's what makes Mother Mary a family. That's what makes Mother Mary a family. And that is what is making, that is the greatness in Mother Mary. Thank you. Now I get it. Yeah. You really do. Academic year 2022, 2023. Yes, please. You did mention we are having graduation next yes, week. Yes, we are having we graduation. We beginning, uh, is it tomorrow? We are having three graduations. Three graduations. Uh, yes. Nursery, primary, and secondary. secondary. Uh, 
how have you found the uh, academic year 2020 how has your experience been as a principal yeah. as a mentor yeah. as a mother to our kids yeah what would you say about this academic year 2023 has been uh, i would say it has been challenging it has not been uh, an easy it has been a roller coaster yeah. 2023 why because first of all it began in a very very successful way yes. having succeeded in checkpoints having succeeded with the best student in IGCSE we began when we are you know energized to, to begin yeah so as the year was going on there is there is a, a challenge which is cropping up in schools which is also affecting us the the, the leaders yes there is an emotional drain in the children so you realize the children are struggling emotionally so every day in a day i receive almost four students walking into my office breaking down recently i had uh, a, a child of six years and uh, he's walking into my office because my office is open to the children yes, children yes. are free to always come in and talk to me yeah and interestingly this lovely boy six years old i hadn't seen him for two days he hadn't seen me for two days and because i was up and down and then he comes into the office and i'm like hi darling how are you doing and he tells i, I haven't seen you i've missed you for two days yes. you haven't come to say yeah hello and and interestingly he tells me i have some issues i've had some issues number two i'm too busy so i'm busy i've been sick uh, that's why i did not get time to check on you mm. so this thing touched me so i kept listening to him he tells me he has been sick number two uh he's not adding up some something because he's missing mama at home oh, and apart from missing mama at home i'm not there yes he has missed me for two days so i realize it's an emotional journey which is very stronger than what i expected yeah. so apart from that every day i've been receiving this year alone i've been receiving in a week i could receive like 10 students struggling emotionally and to me that is and i have to be there as yes. a mother to everybody yes. i have to be there as a friend i have to be an ear to everybody yeah. and not only students but even the staff I'm, 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 I'm mothering stuff, I'm mothering the children, I'm mothering the parents at the same time. Yeah. So that is why this year alone has been straining. The emotional struggles are rising very fast each year. So that has made Mother Mary a bit tough this year. And I think even through the rest of the world. Yeah. But when we come to the social activities, yes. uh, social activities each year, we we are rising in social activities discipline wise children have been so loving this year with the discipline when it comes to academics we are performing so well i've seen a great improvement in our a level and a students yes. thank you for the commitment i've really enjoyed working with the year 12s who are graduating next week yes. and for our nursery babies always our angels our lovely angels. lovely <laughs> lovely <laughs> And yeah. I'm going to miss them so much because the majority are heading to, to, to primary. Yes. But still, I'll find them in primary. They'll definitely come back. So what a lovely, ch emotionally draining year. But we are grateful. We are ending there. Thank you. We really you. thank God for that. Yes. With all these emotions. Yes. Where do you get your inspiration from? I've I've interviewed several people, yeah. and I always ask this question. Yes, please what inspires you yes. like what gives you the strength to yes. keep on you know you you know in your mind yes. that they will come yes. okay yeah. that's why you leave your office door open yes, you know please. they are coming oh, okay even tomorrow they are coming yes, please. where do you draw your inspiration from if i may ask uh, i th that's a very interesting question i have not had an easy life Really? I, I have not had an easy life since the passing away of my father. Oh, sorry for your loss. So it, it is almost three years. Yes. So it, it, it was a sweet, neat family. Yeah. And then when I lost him three years ago, that was an eye opener. Okay. 
it I, I, I realize life is a twist, you know. May your soul rest in peace. I realize life is a twist. Mm -hmm. I realize because despite of being a strong disciplinary person, being a doctor uh, with all the energy in his life, life was taken away. So I realized, come on, Diana, you have to appreciate life. So I, I, I've come to realize I have to appreciate life each day. So I draw my inspiration from number one, appreciating each day life yeah. is not a highway life is not a highway life can change in a second true there's a twist to life every day every day yeah. so i get my inspiration and my energy into appreciating where i have come from where i'm at right now yeah. where i'm going okay. so that is where I draw my inspiration every day and I wake up every day the same way, despite of anything. With that strength. I wake up every day with the strength, with the energy, with the happiness yeah, to be with the children yeah. every day because I have a passion of being there. So I just love it. And it's natural. It comes naturally. So you, you know? actually draw your hope from them. I draw my hope from them. Looking at them entering the gate every morning with those angelic faces yes. and eyes innocent they don't know what life lies ahead yeah. i'm like i'm here for you so it gives me energy to work further farthest every day yes, yes. honestly thank you thank you so much for yes. for being there for our children there yes. is there is this thing that you you do yes please. which i rarely find yes whenever someone walks in your office yes please. you greet them with a smile and then the question comes yes is everything okay yes are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? How can I help? Yes, please. Even to someone like me, yes. that gets me. Yes. You know, there is this this feeling that someone cares. Somebody cares. Someone is actually going to listen to me. So true. And I'm not in the wrong place. So true. So I really, really thank you on behalf thank of you. all the educators. Thank you. I really thank you for that 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 love, you know, thank that, you. that motherhood. Thank you. Uh, let's flash forward a little bit into the future. This this academic year is gone. Yes, please. Um, we resume again in September, yes, in September after our summer holidays. Yes, please. Where do you see Mother Mary five yes. years from now? Yes. Mother Mary, by the way, Mother Mary International School Complex yes. has the biggest vision ever. The journey 18 years to now yes. has not been easy because I've watched almost all of it. But now where Mother Mary is right now yes. is farthest from anything else. So means the future for Mother Mary is so clear and it's, all, it's so easy to maneuver. I see Mother Mary from now among the top of course, retaining one of the best international schools in Rwanda. Yeah. I see Mother Mary five years with like four branches in Rwanda, yes. or even outside in East Africa. We have I, one coming up. We have, we have the second branch coming yes. up in Gahanga. Yes. So I see Mother Mary with four more branches from now. I see Mother Mary Chibagabaga. I see Mother Mary Gahanga. I see Mother Mary in Jisenyi. I see Mother Mary in Goma. Yes. I see Mother Mary in Tanzania. So I see Mother Mary grow up bigger than that. Yeah. And I also see Mother Mary developing into a university, developing farthest into a university. From nursery. From nursery, to primary, university. secondary, to a university. Yes. To a, from a, sorry, a tertiary institution yes. or a normal institution, yeah. a vocational institution, vocational. to a university. So I see Mother Mary adapting all that because they have the ability. It has a super team, it has a super management with a big vision. It has, it, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a school of God. It's Mother Mary. It's, it's Mother Mary, the mother of Jesus, yes. right? So with all the potential. With all the potential. And the protection of and Mother Mary. And the protection Mary. of Mother Mary. Yeah. So the sky is the limit for Mother Mary. I actually fancy the fact that uh, the school name is Mother Mary. Yes, please. But we have 
students yes. coming from different religions. So true. We, 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 you know, we are, we are open. And then you did mention something about having passion for the special needs. So true. I just you know, love children. What that I care. And then the fact that regardless of which religion, yes, please. you're always welcome so to true. Mother Mary. That is, that is something that so I, I really hope we maintain it. And yeah. we keep praying for these other, you know, branches to keep coming up. Yes. You, you've surely done a lot. Ten years as a principal. Ten years. There yeah. must be Actually, so it's much. not ten years. It's eleven years. Eleven years as a principal, as a principal for now. Yes. So many achievements. So I, true. Because of time, we are not going to get into the details. But yes. I do know, just like you've said, life is full of challenges. So true. I do know there are times when you do something and you feel, you ask yourself, did I do the right thing? Yes. Did, I, did I make a mistake? So Am I still on the good side of life? Am I still fighting the good war? Yes. So you must have so many thoughts at the end of the day. So true. What I would like you to share with our viewers is, what are some of those things that yeah. you have done yes. and you don't regret them? They may sound you know, yeah. not cool to other people, but being the principal. Yes. In fact, I feel you were principal yes. because of your principles. I'm a principal because of my principles. That is a fact. I'm extremely. <laughs> so you do admit your principal. I'm, I'm extremely principled, but uh, with the soft side of it. So th there are many Dianas within me. Yes. Many Dianas within me. What do you? What have you done that you don't regret? I don't regret being in school. I've studied. I don't regret the degrees. While other people would, would keep asking, why would she go back to school? Why is she always going back to school? So I don't regret getting my first degree. I don't regret getting my second degree. I don't regret the third degree. I do not regret. To other people, they're like, oh, she has to do this before doing this. I don't regret that. Because knowledge is power. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be managing, I wouldn't be succeeding, I wouldn't be doing what I do without education. Yeah. So having that knowledge, I'm empowered each day knowing I know what I'm doing. You have the right tools. I have the right tools. Yeah. I have all the knowledge in the world to, to lead a huge complex and to live with people. So I don't regret my education. The exposure. The exposure I've got, I don't regret. Could that be the reason why you're still in the, in the education field? Do you, do you have hopes of later in life branching into social, social, the social sector? Yes, 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 yes. I see myself, apart from education, yes. I see myself giving more to schools, other schools, extending my services to other schools, yes. not only Mother Mary. Yeah. I need to give more to other schools. I need to give to the education system. And also, I would like to help the challenged students. Those are the special needs children. Yeah. I would love to give my extension to them. Children who are struggling academically, autism, children who, who feel they cannot be in school. Emotional distress. Emotional distress. There are many special mental, cases. Mental. I love mm. to help these children. Because where it is coming from, in my when I was studying, nobody told me I was the best. Yes. Nobody told me I was a great leader. Nobody told me I have a kind help to transform people. Yeah. I learned it with myself. And when I went through this myself, I realized I could contribute to other people. All right? Yeah. Because you know our era teachers could not help you. You know? Yes. They would come for them it's teach and go. Content move Content out. Content move yeah. out. So I would like to be a game changer. Yes to these children at least. Okay. Yes. I read something that got my attention. Someone wrote, uh, they said sometimes yeah. we are following people. Yes, please. Who are also following us. Oh, <laughs> it's, oh it's interesting. And now in the, in the era of uh, all the social media, I, I do love social media, yes, but please. I feel like sometimes we, we, lose, we lose who we really are. In the noise, in the yeah. opinions, in, in what people fancy. I would like to know what is that one thing yes, that please. you value that most people take for granted? Something you value, but most people don't actually 
value it so much in this 21st century. People don't value it, but I value it. Yes. There's something I value so much, and it's funny. It's I like, smile to strangers. Smile. <laughs> I smile to strangers. Because why? People, people don't value this. You're meeting somebody for the first time, and uh, somebody will give you a gloomy face. Somebody will give you, I don't know you face. But to me, I smile at strangers. Yeah. I extend a hug and smile to strangers. Yes. Because this stranger could be somebody you are looking for. This stranger could be somebody going to add value to your life. This stranger could be somebody with a message yeah. which is going to make you better. So people don't value that, but I value that because I've seen strangers change my life. Yeah. I've seen strangers contribute to my life. So smiling and embracing and giving warmth to people I've met for the first time is something I value so much. I think that is so, so, so cool. Yes. Paying more attention to human relationships. I pay so much attention you know, to you, human You always talk about social. Social. Capital. Social capital. Know, like being there for people yeah. when they need you the most. When they need me. I'm yeah. always there. I try, however much I'm struggling with, I do my best to be there. It's really good. Yeah. It's I really just send good. a message, make a call, yeah. be there. Sometimes I'm not able to be there because of many responsibilities. Yeah. But at least I'll send a message. You do care. I'll, I'll do a call. Because this person could be somebody to your life in the yes. future. So that one I value it very much. It's really good. Yes. Our teenagers. Yes. I won't say so much about our teenagers. Yes. But there is a lot. There is a lot. A happening. lot that needs to be done. So true. Okay. Because yes. I feel like uh, their greatest challenge now is being understood. So true. And with this whole technology, they... they they are looking for love. They are Such looking true. for attention. They are looking for someone who can give them a hand, give, so listen to them. And sometimes we yeah. we take it for granted. Yes. In your opinion, what, what do you think we, yes. the yeah. old generation, the elders, the educators, the parents, what do you think we can do yes. to make the lives of our teenagers, our students, our young generation mm -hmm. better and, and more fulfilled. I mean, like, yeah. what can we do to make their lives worth living? Thank you. Question is very simple. Listen. Listen to the teenagers. Listen, listen, listen. Be patient with the teenagers. As a word, teenager. They are growing through, it's a phase in life. Yeah. They will leave teenager, age, teenagerhood, and they move to adulthood. It's a phase. I was a baby yes. at one time. Yeah. I was a teenager at one time. I'm an adult at, at this time, you know? And I'm going into old age in a few years to come. Yeah. So, please, be patient and listen to teenagers. This one, I beg everybody, parents, Schools, friends, community, do not judge teenagers. I beg of this. Get time to listen to, 30 minutes. I know you're busy everywhere, anybody could be, but take time, sit down and give an ear. Let the child talk, let the child pour out the heart. You are mature enough to, to differentiate between right or wrong. And then after, listening to this child, you know? Be patient while you're solving this crisis. Can I tell you something? They are going to end up being a confident. They are going to end up being a friend with you. They are going to appreciate themselves. And can I, know, can I tell you something? Yes, Be no, before you know it, problem is solved. It's a phase in life. Just appreciate them. Just be patient with them. Just listen to them. Give them the time. Give them the time. One hour will not hurt this child, however busy you are. Yeah. We were once like that. We were once like that. I wasn't an easy teenager. Personally, I was not stubborn. 
but I was big headed. I could I had my own codes, you know, we call them codes. Yeah. You know, I could be very reserved as an an introvert. So getting something out of me was pretty hard unless you're friends. So I could not confine in everybody unless you're a very good friend. Yeah. And it was a very rare case. So simple. Listen yeah. to these teenagers. Very true. Yes, please. I also call upon all our viewers to try so hard it's not easy but our teenagers have gotten used to intimidation they so do know when i do this yes. mom is going to do this so when i do this dad is definitely going to do this so and uh intimidation is is, is not it's, it's not solving a problem it doesn't it doesn't solve a problem because change. already they have uh, you, they have social media yes. to answer their questions what they are missing is the humanity side of it they need mom and dad, or they need Diana that in connection. school. They need that connection. They need me to be there and listen and say, you are going to go through this because I was like you. Just give them time. They, they, and these are teenagers who are coming out in the world to, to being the best teenagers in the world. Yeah. Yes. I think we need to work on that more. Yes. Please. And I would like to appreciate you for uh, coming Yes, for the please. seminars yes. I've, I've i've seen you go to different classes yes, please. even as a principal you've stayed humble and yeah. calm and you've talked to our learners yes. and they have asked you questions i love it they have asked me all the silliest questions they asked me the silliest questions they asked me about my boyfriends in school yes and i told them i never had a boyfriend in school <laughs> and they are all in shock they they, they they ask so many things and i appreciate that and I'll, I'll pour out my heart for them to know I was a teenager too. Yes. And I, I, I enjoy it. Yeah, I really. Thank it. you for sacrificing your time. So uh, the world is focusing on so many. There are so many projects and campaigns out there. Yes, uh, currently, we are putting so much attention on bullying, so peer pressure, yes. drugs, alcohol, yes, and please. several other very, very beautiful campaigns. Climate change. So true. But... Uh, there is still something that I feel we should pay more attention to. Yes. And that is being okay with saying no. To being something. okay to saying no. Yes, please. We need to learn to say no. So true. Because not everything that comes to us yes. deserves a yes. So true. Actually, one person once said uh, innovation means saying no yes, to please. so many things. Yes, please. From your experience as a mother, as an aunt, yes, as a principal, as an educator, yes, what, in your opinion, are some of the things that yes. you you really, really feel from the bottom of your heart yes. that our young generation should be brave enough and say no to? Can I tell you something? Yes, please. They should, everybody, not only the young, everybody should say no to negativity you don't need negative energy yeah. in your life you've had enough you know yes. it's part of life having a positive and and negative life is part of life but i don't want to hear it from you repeat it for me you, you, you understand so saying no to negative energy learn to embrace yourself Learn to appreciate yourself. We work in the education sector, yes. whereby in a day through social media, you get millions of negative messages from parents. But come on, I'm having your baby, treating your baby like a queen, treating your baby like a king from morning, from seven to six, holding, hugging, nursing, carrying. Five days a week. Five days a week. Three months. And, and, and when you are throwing negatives around it is does not only demoralize me but it puts me in another side you know I, it makes me question life yes. so to educators to parents to our dear children to anybody say no to negative energy say no to negative appreciate your life waking up every day itself is god is blessing yes. so say no to negative energy look out for opportunities why do you look out for a dot, a black dot in your life when you already have a full white shirt you're dressed in, when you already have every blessing in front of you? So 
negative energy it's not part of me it's not good it's not good just say it not drains it. it's draining just appreciate the goodness you have and we should also try to work on not transferring not transfer the negative, the negative energy, energy. You, know? you are this i think that's why you 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 you, you, you treasure the smile because yes. when someone smiles at you yes. already they there's, 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 there's that they calmness calm down, it has in you. you know? It's a positive energy yes. itself they bring in you. It changes but, you. But somebody having something bad to say about you all the time. I mean, we have God who forgave us our sins and he's here to understand this us every day. Yeah. So just appreciate, just enjoy each day. Mm. Mistakes are made, correct them, move on. And that's what I do every yes. day. It's very cool. Yes, please. Very clear. Yes. Uh, Graduation. Graduation. Our graduates. Yeah. Yes, please. What would you tell them? Because I have interacted with many of them. Yes. Majority are a little afraid. Oh, yes. The real world. The real world. Yes. You know, there is that transition from high school to the real, the real world. world. Yes, please. You did go through high school. I did. We did go through high school. Yes. We went through university. Yes. What would you tell all our graduates yes. of Mother Mary and all the graduates in the whole world? What would be your message to them as they get into the real world? To the graduates in the whole world, starting with Mother Mary, starting with East Africa, Africa internationally, to all the graduates, 2023. Do not wait for somebody to discover you. It begins with you. You have to discover yourself. Self-evaluation. And it begins from listening to your inner self, identifying what you love and what you hate. Know your passion. Go for it. As simple as that. I was not discovered by anybody. Yeah. I discovered myself. I woke up one day. I was 17 years old. And realize the silliness I've done is not going to take me anywhere. I discovered myself, started involving myself in all social activities, started being there, performing in every activity, public speaker, you know, joining university, I was there. I said, I have to learn this. I have to pick up the pace, you know. So no one is going to discover the graduate, my dear. You have to discover yourself. The world is waiting for you to fall down and they pick you up, if they pick you up. So, discover yourself, go for it, do it passionately, the sky is the limit. Yeah. That's it. Self-evaluation, self-assessment. Self Just love yourself, go for it. You know who you are. As international students, you discover yourselves at 13 years. Yes. But in other programs, national programs, they might even take may discover themselves at 25. So with this education we do have from Cambridge, a child is able to know where you're going, how are you going to go there, and how are you going to reach the top. Use the opportunity. And, and stay focused. And stay focused. We have given you everything. We have given you the education. We have given you the skills. We have given you the knowledge. Just do it. Just do it. So true. Yes. In a special way, I would like to thank uh, Mother Mary as a school thank for you. the different opportunities. You see, in most schools, yes. the effort is put on knowledge, so classes, true. studying, yes. exams, tests, so which is important. And we do that here as well. Yes. But I would like to appreciate you, especially thank in you. a special way, and top administration for giving our learners opportunities to develop their skills yes you know it's one thing to discover who you are but yes. if you can't apply if you don't get the exposure yes. it's it's a waste of your it's time. A waste it's, of time it's practically impossible it's okay. so i appreciate everyone who has made it possible for our students to get opportunities like we had a conference sometime back yes we have the i lead a public speaking yes, conference and yes. being the best in i lead in rwanda being the best by the way this among 78 schools and you know it does not only it's not about academics but having producing children of character children with an attitude taking and responsibility and competence. and competence you know that is one of the pillars 
But the memory is holding. Very true. Yes. Surviving in the real world now yes. does not just depend on the papers because no. the one consistent question that they always ask is, okay, you have these good results, but what else are you bringing on what the table? What are you bringing on table? What else can you do that no other person can do? Mother Mary students have that. The Mother Mary students, they have the knowledge, they have the skills, they have the attitude, yes. good attitude, positive attitude to face the world mm -hmm. from IGCSE. They have that. And the flexibility. And the flexibility yes. to be able, the, the, the dynamicism, the, 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 you know, being with people. So for Mother Mary students, you have it all. Go for it. Go for it. And be you. And be you. Just enjoy being you. you. Just just enjoy the being you. The world is already too hard. So, so trying true. to be what you are not. So true. It's not, it's not good to, to live a fake life. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Yes, yes. Madam Principal, do you do you like reading books? Like reading. I'm I'm wondering during your free time yes. when you are, you know, yeah. in your vacation. We are having yes. a vacation coming up. What are some of the activities? What what are some of the things that you do that make you feel alive? Bring you back to you. Uh, people are going to say, Oh, because she's a principal, <laughs> she reads books. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. So I, what do you do? People are going to be, oh, she read books. Oh, she's always in the computer. No, guys. She's always I serious. I have a life. <laughs> she's always serious. I have a life. I know my life is... By the way, as me, I'm a very simple, private person. Yeah. Extremely. I treasure the simplicity and privacy in my life. You the don't humility. hear me mm. throw out everything in the, in the air. So what do I do? The books... Number one, talking about the books, yes. I've read one book with all my heart and soul, apart from the management books, apart yes. from the school books. Yes. That is part of my job. Yes. But I've read one interesting book, what is Triology, it's called Triology on Leadership and Effective Management yeah. by Anthony. That was a book which was gifted to me by my father. Right. As, as people were being gifted with cars and on graduation, my first graduation, my yes. first degree, yeah. he gave me that book. He's yeah. like... This book, I think he had identified that I, I might be a leader, yes. but he didn't know I was a leader because I wasn't a leader by then. Yes. So he gave me that book and said, D Diana, this book suits you very well. And this book has everything about life, attitude, yeah. stress, management, leadership. So this book has shaped me. So what do I do uh, apart from uh, my, my life, how I manage yeah, my life, free time. my free time? Yes. Do I have a free time? <laughs> I'm wondering this, this Holidays, coming vacation. Summer, summer, summer time. Are you are you going out of the continent? Are you my free time? I travel. Ah yes. I love traveling. My free time traveling traveling to Uganda. Yes. I love being with my family, as in very private time with my family. Yes. I love uh, being alone. Sometimes yeah. I love my space. I love being alone and meditating about life and sometimes there are things people take for granted but I, 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 I love traveling alone sometime I would travel sit somewhere and sit down and think about tomorrow and then I draw a sketch about tomorrow yes. so I do a lot of planning meditation I meditate I plan every detail okay. of me. okay I do that and I love to dance. My, my <laughs> students know this very much. <laughs> my students know this very much. They know Madame Dana loves to dance. Bring on music in the middle of a lesson. We shall pause a bit for five minutes. <laughs> and, then and live life. Shall, and live life. Yes. So my students, thank you for always being my cheerleaders. Though I'm not a good dancer. But uh, I love to dance. Okay. I love dancing. And this brings the best out of me with the children. So... It's very simple. I think it's it's very important to, yeah. to be flexible and I'm very to, be, flexible. to be humble. I'm me. I'm me. I uh, it's it's not uh, it's not a secret. It's yes. it's a gift from God. Leadership yes. comes from God. Yes. So I believe, and you don't just become a good leader. Yes. We have so many leaders out there, but yes. not everyone has done something that yes. they will be known and remembered for. Yes. What? What behavior, yes. what habits, what beliefs, what values make you different from the rest of the world? 
What is it about you that makes you different? The behaviors, the habits yeah. that you have that makes me different. You treasure them and that's what makes you you. I am humble. Humility is key. I am humble. I am grounded. I respect every person. Regardlessly. Regardless you are first, last, I respect everybody. So that is it. Humble, I'm grounded, I respect. I respect humanity. I think respect is, uh, is something we all need to work on. Yes, I, I respect. I, even a child, even a newborn baby. That's where the humility comes even from. Even an old 100 year person who does yeah. not hear me, who does not see me, I do respect that person. I respect life. I respect human beings. I respect the who you are. Yeah. I don't judge. I don't. I don't do that. It's easy. It's easy. To... And, and the way I've come more to respect people, yes. the more I've grown a phobia of disrespecting humanity. So I have a terrible phobia for somebody who disrespects humanity. So. I. I it's simple. We are all human beings. You don't know what life brings tomorrow. Just respect that. And we, we, we all matter. And we all matter. And you have a contribution to this life. That's why you're here. So it's very important. Yeah. Yes. Please. I think we should all try so hard to work on, on, on respect. So true, 100%. As we come to the last, last bit of our interview, yes, you do get stressed sometimes. Yes. I mean, I at the end of the day, you're, you're human. Yeah. At the end of the day, you are tired. You're tired. You're overwhelmed. At the end of the day, you get a little distracted. So true, hundred percent. At the end of the day, you miss your family. I do. What What gives you the the courage to push on? What do you do when you feel yeah. overwhelmed and stressed yeah. and down? Yeah. What I'll, 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 I'll begin with what pushes me. Yes. What pushes me is I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Being a principal, started being a principal at a young age, I yes. was trusted by people. Yes. I was very young, was fresh from university. Yeah. I had no knowledge about that. So I'm appreciative about life. Each day, God has given me. I'm appreciative. So that pushes me so much. I appreciate God for that. Yeah. Even now, I appreciate. I appreciate everything given, put on my table. I appreciate being here for an interview. I appreciate moving out and receiving a person into my office. Yes. So at the end of the day, coming to the second question, after a long day, I sit back and reflect on myself every day. I never sleep without reflecting how my day was. And when I reflect on myself, I take time to think, how am I going to make it better? Yeah. And then I pray, I take my sleep. So reflecting, myself spiritually socially academically keeps me going each day yeah. yes gratitude I'm, I'm just grateful Reflection. i'm just grateful i reflect i appreciate life i appreciate people around me i appreciate every little thing around me yes. And, yes and prayer and prayer it's really important it's it's something it's unnegotiable it's part of life it's yeah. something you have to do yeah. you have it's to a life. necessity yes please. i always ask uh, people in the the joking way. Yes. How much time do you spend in prayer? So it's true. easy. Yes. We could we could chat for yes. two hours, yes. but sometimes we find it hard to, to spend find time. I think you have seen me oh, every morning walk into the chapel. Yes. Immediately when I enter school, I have to walk into the chapel. Every time I'm moving out of the school, I have to go through the chapel. Say thank you, God, for this day. Yeah. I've been with over one thousand children. Everybody's happy. Let's go home. It was a success. It was a success. Yes. Let's go home. So I have to do that. Madam Principal. Yes, please. As we wind up this this beautiful interview and yes, like this, this sharing, I would like to appreciate you again. Thank you. Thank you so much Pleasure. for your time. Pleasure. Now, before we go, yes, please. kindly talk to our viewers. Yes. I would like you to give your final message to different categories of people. Yeah. Beginning with our students, yes. students of Mother Mary, yes. as they get into the, those graduating as they get into the real world and then the rest as they go for their yeah. Yeah. vacation. Yes, please. 
what would you say to the to, our students? Oh, amazing, amazing. To our, uh, I, I feel honored. Thank you for, for hosting me. And thank you for having me. Thank you for one-on-one. -on -one. I rarely do this yes. because I'm everywhere. Yes. So it has been an honor. Thank you so much. You're From welcome. the Mary School to the studio, to everybody in the community, to the Rwandan community. Yes. Thank you. I, I, I always appreciate this mm. moment. Mm. And to my country, Uganda, mm. I, I appreciate that mm. sincerely for, for the glooming and the culture that we are being raised through that. Yes. So I'm grateful for that. So to my students, Mother Mary International School Complex from nursery, primary, secondary students and to the all G's and OB's mm. of Mother Mary, yeah. one simple message. We have given you the best education in the world. We have nurtured you we have educated you we have loved you give it back to the world with all your heart yeah. and your soul mm -hmm. without limiting yourself that's how the world is going to embrace you so please students teachers with all the nurturing we have given yeah. give it back do not limit yourself do not be rigid do not be you know, yeah. protective of what we have given you. That's Don't how we can afraid. make. Don't yeah. be afraid. That's how what we can. That's how we are going to make the world a better place. To the parents of Mother Mary, yes. thank you for loving Diana. Thank you for trusting Diana. Diana is not an angel. Diana is a normal human being like anybody. I've played my role for the past twelve years yes. to Mother Mary. I'm so grateful. I need you always to join me. Join me. My office is open join me we always work together education cannot be run without parents cannot be run with the stakeholders the rest of stakeholders education government yes. mm -hmm. uh, community so the parents always join me uh, my office is always open my phone is always i have no appointments with parents anytime you can always come in and yeah. we have a chat and yes. we talk about life how we can make your child better and to the staff thank you thank you for for, for the respect I receive from them. Thank you for the love I receive from them. Thank you for understanding Diana. Because my life, of my, my li the way I understand, I view life and the way I operate is totally different. Mm. I know myself extremely principled, though very kind, but I have rules yeah. that you have to abide with. So being the person I work with you and you're able to respect that and you're able to understand me and you're able to give me back feedback every day, I appreciate. Yes. So the sky is the limit for you guys. The, the, our graduates, we wish you the best. Happy graduation, happy summer. May God bless you. Thank you for having me. Thank you so Pleasure. much. Pleasure, thank um, you so much. I would also voice with her the same comments. I really continue to appreciate all our viewers. Thank you so much for supporting Mother Mary Studio. All our parents, Parents of Mother Mary International Complex, thank you for trusting us with your children. Who are our children too? We yes. really, really love and treasure them and treat them like our own. Yes. And everyone who has made the academic year 2022, 2023 a success. Thank you. thank you for everything. Let's keep working hard. Let's be kind to everyone because everyone, like you say, everyone is going through something. Everybody's going through something. So let's just, be kind. Just be kind. Yes. We Respect. All need, yes. Respect. We all need someone to tell us that everything is going to be okay. So and sure. let's let's keep praying. We wish our, our students and everyone wonderful vacation, wonderful summer holidays. And thank you so much for supporting Mother Mary. We hope to see all of you back, back in, September. in September 11 September 11 September for the new year yes madam principal yes, this please. has been a pleasure pleasure so having much. me thank you thank you thank, thank you, you so much and uh, I wish you beautiful awesome. beautiful summer holiday thank you so much pleasure having me pleasure thank, thank you. you so much thank you pleasure. thank you